Hey, what is up, YouTube? Welcome to the Cusp Adventures. So today I'll be reviewing the Galaxy Buds Pro. All right, so this is a summarization video. So essentially it's a summarization of my full video, just a quick video so it doesn't waste all your time. If you don't wanna watch the full video, you can just watch the short one and it's a little summary of the full one. And if you'd like to check these out, the links will be in the description. Also, the full video will be in the description also. These were purchased by me and I intend to be as honest as possible. They come in at 200 US dollars, but they have tons of discounts. They come in three different colors, black, white, and purple. For the audio quality, they sound really, really good. Some of the best I've ever listened to. Great bass, treble, and mids. They also do have ANC and ambient mode. And you're able to fully edit these functions in the app. The app is only available on Android though. Now let's check the mic quality. This is a sample from a quiet room. All right, so in my ears right now are the Galaxy Buds Pro, and this is the mic quality you can expect from them. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hopefully you can hear my voice loud and clear. I'm just talking with them in my ears as if I'll be like on phone call or anything like that. And yeah, now for the battery life. They claim to get eight hours of audio playback with an additional 20 hours with the case. I was able to do a battery drain test on these and they were able to get 4 hours and 56 minutes of audio playback through the earbuds, which is 3 hours less than their claim, but they did have active noise cancelling on for the majority of the time. For the features, they are IPX7, water resistant, active noise cancellation, ambient mode, they also have wireless charging and quick charge. Alright, let's go through the settings we got here. Voice attack. You can do voice attack, ambient mode, active noise cancellation. We're gonna update those in a sec. Block touches, okay. These are the touch controls. Very cool, very cool. Equalizer, oh, you can adjust everything. Read out loud notifications, that's cool. Advanced. Labs, gaming mode. Find my earbuds, whoa, we won't do a different app. General, reset. Holy crap. These things are insane, whoa. Overall, should you buy these? In my opinion, if you were using a Android phone or a Galaxy phone, you know, I would recommend them. They are really good for that area. They have active noise cancellation. They're a pretty decent price if you get a discount. And overall, they're, they're solid for that. If you're on iOS, I can't recommend them to you. They just, they won't work the same and there's better options out there. Honestly, go with their predecessor if you're on iOS. Overall, I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't do the integration on iOS because if not, I would be able to recommend these to both Android and iOS. But overall, if you'd like to check them out, the links will be in the description. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, and peace. All right, if you don't already know who I am, I am the Custom Adventurist, and it is my goal to become the greatest earbud reviewer on the planet. The most detailed, the most honest, and the most trusted, and I need your help to become the best. I need you to subscribe and like this video. You should also follow me on Instagram and on TikTok. And be sure to comment anything you like about the videos, anything you hate, anything you want me to change, and what earbuds I should review next. As always, I'll be documenting all my testing, and all these products were either sent to me or purchased by me. I've taken no money from these companies and intend to be as unbiased as possible. Thanks for watching and helping me become the best.